Hi, this is Mike from Smart Home Connection, and I'm going to tell you about the Apple September event that happened last week at the Steve Jobs Theater in Cupertino at the Apple Complex. Hit it! Smart Home Connection! So the event covered the Watch Series 4. It also covered the new iPhone XS, XS Max, and the XR with a little bit of the HomePod and the dual features with two HomePods and the stereo feature and the update and so I'm going to dive into each of those. So let's start with the Watch Series 4. Apple covered the Watch Series 4 with three parts. It covered it in the activity with the new WatchOS 5 workouts with hiking and yoga, the communication with the new walkie-talkie feature, and a little bit of their new web features, and then the big one for Watch Series 4 specifically is the new heart monitoring features. You can, it will tell you if it detects a, a, your heart in a fib, a regular rhythm, or you can actually perform a ECG, electrocardiogram. And that it has been approved by the FDA and actually president of the American Heart Association covered this. So let's go into the sizes next and cover the displays. The Series 4 sizes are a little bit over 30% bigger. The small one, which was 38 millimeters, went to 40 and the bigger one that was 42 went to 44. So it's about a little over 30% bigger. The new watch face has up to eight complications, which is really good. There's a lot of new watch faces with breathing and kaleidoscope and water. And so I'm going to show you a few of the faces with the different complications next. So let's go to watch face complicate. So the watch face complications, you can have up to eight. They have a shiny new watch face that you can put up to eight. You can have your music, your messaging, your mail, your activity rings, eight different ones. Looks like four in the middle and four in the corners. And then there's two wa new watch faces that stood out to me. First of all, the time zone one, and then the photograph one. You can have four people, and you can touch them, and then it will contact them or call them. So that, those two watch faces kind of stood out to me. There's also 20 new watch complications. And so here they are here. So let's dive into the microchip, the S4 which is in the new Series 4. The Watch Series 4 has a Series 4 S microchip. It's an S4. And they boasted it because it is a 64-bit chip, unlike the 32-bit of the Watch 3. So it's two times faster than the Series 3. So let's go into the pricing with the GPS and cellular versions. The Apple Watch Series 4 comes in two different options. The first is the GPS, and the second is the GPS plus cellular. The GPS requires your phone to be within 30 feet of the watch. So if you make a phone call, it connects your phone and then makes a phone call. The GPS version, aluminum, starts at $399 for the 40 millimeter size and goes up from there. I bought 
the 44 millimeter size plus the Apple Care for about 550. Then you have these GPS plus cellular version. This is for more active people. If you want to ski or do water sports like swimming and you want to leave your phone at home or bike riding without the, having to bring the phone along, then you can get that version. It does not require a phone to be nearby. In fact, if you use it, then you can't use a phone. It starts at $4.99 for the form 40 millimeter size. So let's wrap it up with the conclusion for the Apple Watch. In conclusion, the Series 4 has a brand new design. It has over 30% larger display, which is 40 millimeters and 44 millimeters. It has a new UI. It has digital crown with haptics. It has an S4 64-bit processor, which is two times faster than the Series 3 has a louder speaker, has fall detection, which is brand new, and I will cover later in another video, has a FDA-approved electrical heart sensor, which has an ECG electrocardiogram app that you can do an electrocardiogram and send the information to your doctor. So there we have it wrapping up the Apple Watch Series 4. Let's go on to the Apple 2018 iPhones. The 2018 iPhones come in three varieties. The XS, the XS Max, and the XR. I'm going to tell you about all three of them. First up, the XS. The 2018 iPhone XS has a 5.8 OLED display, 458 points per inch. It's basically your 2017 iPhone X with a new A12 microprocessor. It costs $999 for the 64 megabyte version. It comes also in a 256 megabyte version and a 512 megabyte version which i really don't recommend that just basically either the 64 or the 256 is all you should need so let's go on to the xs max the 2018 iphone xs max is a brand new phone as a 6.5 oa led display it's the largest iphone ever as 480 points per inch, has a new Face ID detection, it has the new A12 microprocessor, and it starts at $1,099 for a 64 megabyte version and goes up from there. The other versions are 256 megabyte and 512. So that is the OLED iPhones. Then they came out with one more thing, as they say. The 2018 XR phone, which is a little bit cheaper phone. So let's go into that next. The 2018 XR is a LCD Phone. So it's a little bit less in cost. It has a 6.1 TFT, which is the center second generation LCD display. And then it has pretty much the same features as your XS and XX Max with your new Face ID. It has an A12 microprocessor. And then it also comes in six colors, which is similar to the 5S or 5C that they came out with. So it has a product red, which is usually not until March, has a yellow, has a white, has a nice coral, which is brand new, and then you have your black 
and then you have your blue. So that's pretty much the XR. I'll be going a little bit more into that when we cover the three iPhones in a separate video. And then there was one more thing that Apple said. However, they usually were it. So let's cover the HomePod a little bit like they did with a software update. Next. The HomePod was the one more thing that they do it usually at their events. The HomePod is just a software update. It's nine new features, not a new version. The new apps include the music, the timer, the phone, the find my phone, so you can find your phone within the house, and the series suggestion, which is kind of nice because then you can make different um, sequences. So that's the HomePod update. So now we're going to wrap it up. In conclusion, the Apple September event on September 12th covered five products. First of all, the Apple Watch Series 4. Then it covered three iPhones, the 2018 XS, 2018 SS Mac, and the 2018 XR, which is an LCD display. Then they had one more thing. It was only a software update to the Apple HomePod. So that wraps it up. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Please like my videos. Please, if you have any questions, any comments, leave them below. And have a great day. Smile Connection.